bururi wa Kenya ni ukoretwe kio ya gobo kuma mafururi ni manager makiria fururi wa China itanya inene ari guthondeka tafarira shaudi wa nabere na uri fururi urathi na bere na kwa gobo ishi no gwa magoti marathi na bere na kuogererwo budget ya mwaka wa 2023 itanya to guthomwa kiumya gikitariki 15 mweri uyu it is time for governments everywhere to stop ducking the hard choices Now we must appreciate right you know we we keep on complaining about Kenya's debt as i said between 65 to 70% of gdp but there are countries with high debt as well and they're continuing life we just need to make sure that we have good fiscal discipline we are able to manage our debt levels unfortunately 50% of our debt is in foreign currency so currently i think by june 2023 our debt is expected to be about 10 trillion so 5 trillion is going to be in foreign currency So you know technically if our currency depreciates by 10% because we can't control it we have to pay 500 billion shillings extra Kurigana na gwataniro ya PKF maugete mwaka wa 2022 mweri ni wa Dithemba fururi wari na thire wa muigana wa shiringi trilioni kenda turumemwe madhiete na bere na kuga a Kenya marathie na bere na guteta kumana na garama ya muturire kwa batira maya mothe magishogiririo ni kwa batira kwa magoti I believe if you go to the supermarket right now you will get 2 kg of sugar at 400 shillings plus Now if you look at the very first proposal to introduce excise duty on local sugar at 5 shillings per kg what really is the government doing here because then the cost of living becomes unaffordable uh, and and just to put things into context a couple of years back you would go to the supermarket with 1000 shillings and you could come out with sort of a back basket full of stuff now right now go to the, to the supermarket with the same amount you'll actually realize you'll barely have two or three items in the basket nigukoreto na dereti hiyo ege maine na ndu are me madagira ufosho wa wa oro muthenya kuhetukira nenda cia ukinyaniria makorogo makiriha magoti na kuringana na gwataniro ya PKF maugete ado ya mafatia kuriha gishuje kya 15 harigana now out of the 5 to 6 million registered taxpayers it's just a, above a half of that that are actively paying taxes some form of tax whether it is income tax vat payers yuan withholding tax the import duties so it's actually a proportion of even the registered ones who are actively paying taxes now you can start beginning to see where the problem is these content creators are in business and we know some of these household names some of them are millionaires so the question is why can't they pay their fair share of taxes Why does it always seem like um, the burden of tax number 1 falls on employees number 2 is always on the people who are repeatedly complying with their taxes budget ya mwaka wa 2022 na 2023 itanyito guthomo kiumya giki tariki 15 na a Kenya makoreto makiruta maoni ngorani hamwe na atongoria matiganite na gitumi ya fururi wa Kenya gukorwo na magoti maingi kana andu kuongerwa magoti ni fururi wa Kenya gukorwo na thire muingi hadoini hakeo tv de county ya Nairobi jetagwa wairi wa wajiru